Please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Ooh, These are all of my social media accounts. Try, know that it's time Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I showed you guys our family's first day of school morning routine. But now we're getting into the actual school routine because if you didn't know, I am now a fourth grade teacher. This is my first year as a teacher and I wanted to bring you guys along for this journey. I was finishing up some last minute things, but I think I hear my class outside. So let's go ahead and let them in so we can start our new school year. Good morning, class. Good morning, mom. Hey, Leah. Good morning, everyone. I did already assign seats, so go find the desk with your name on it and place your book bag down and have a seat. Okay, so far so good. Looks like everyone found their seats. Okay class, I'm gonna go ahead and take attendance now. Who wants to be my helper today and take the attendance folder to the office? Oh, okay, Violet was really eager, so we're gonna let Violet go. You know where the office is, right? Uh, I think so. You gotta give kids independence. It's right down the hall and to your left. Okay, all right, perfect. I knew where it was. That's okay, Leah. You can take it tomorrow. Okay, thank you for taking the attendance folder, Violet. And now that I've taken attendance, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself to you guys. So, let me go ahead and turn on the projector, actually. And let me get this slideshow started okay well first of all welcome to mrs collins fourth grade class can you guys believe you're fourth graders already okay class i have a question for you does anyone know the difference between mrs and miss i do um okay uh sydney right you can go ahead and answer mrs is for a woman with a ring on her finger and Miss is for a woman who doesn't have one. Good job, you got that correct. Unfortunately, I forgot to restock my candy bowl, but give me a reminder tomorrow morning. Okay, class, but everyone understands that, right? So, Mrs. is when you're married, and Miss is for when you're not married. Okay, let me go ahead and continue with the slides. Okay, so here's my get to know me. My name is Akila Collins, and this is my first year as a teacher, so I know some of you guys might be a little nervous. Don't worry, I am too. Um, I'm a writer for children's books. I have graduated from Pastelville University. I have four amazing kids. One of them is in this class, actually. And I owned a bakery until it unfortunately burned down. And we currently have an ice cream truck. You might have seen us driving up and down your street. We're called Collins Ice Cream. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go over our daily schedule. So you guys get in at 7.45 a.m. And this is when we'll turn in homework and we're gonna do a warm up. Uh, today is obviously a little different because we're having a shorter schedule today since it's the first day and things are kind of out of order. After that, we're gonna do English language arts and then we'll do social studies. This year, you'll be learning all about Bloxburg history and our founder, Coeptus. Then you'll have recess from 10.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. After that, you'll come in and sometimes we'll do science and sometimes we'll do math. Those classes will be an hour long, but after that, you'll get a break and the rest of the day is really fun. You'll have lunch and a second recess from 
12 o'clock p.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And then you'll go into your specials class. Dismissal is at 2.30. After school, I am offering tutoring and you can just stay in my classroom. Uh, just let me know ahead of time if you would like to join a tutoring session and we'll figure it out. And on Fridays, we will go to the library and you will complete a reading log over the weekend. I'm expecting you to read three chapters of whatever book you get because we're only reading chapter books. You guys are fourth graders now. And as for specials classes, uh, depends on your schedule, what you signed up for or what you were left with. But we have art classes, cooking classes, dance, music, and we have a bunch of sports like soccer, baseball, basketball, or track. <laughs> Leah, you better be writing all this down because that page looks real empty and you're only in my class because this school is understaffed and this is the only fourth grade class here. Yes, yes I am. Okay, because I'm not playing favorites. You are like any other student here. Yeah, it looked real empty. Ooh, Leah's in trouble. Is Leah your daughter, ma'am? Yes, yes, this is one of my daughters. Hey, stop it, Carter. I guess this is the perfect time to get into my classroom rules. One, two, three, eyes on me. I know, I know, you've heard all these rules before. No talking while I'm talking or when someone else is talking. You guys should know this now. Raise your hand if you want to be heard. If you have to go to the restroom, you can just ask me. I'm not like the other teachers. Next, keep your hands, feet, objects, and mean words to yourself. Because if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. We know, Mom. I want my classroom to be a safe space for for everyone. I want you all to feel comfortable coming in to talk to me. And I mean, I don't expect you guys to warm up to me overnight, but hopefully by the end of the semester, we can all feel more comfortable around each other. And if not, that's okay. No pressure. Did you write the book, Another Book About Bears? Oh yeah, I actually did. That's my most recent book. I love that book. Oh, thank you, Carter. Oh my gosh, I love that book. Thanks, Violet. Uh, Sydney, she is one hardworking woman. Will we get a chance to do a show and tell this year? I actually hadn't planned on it, but that seems like a really good idea. Oh yeah, we did one in second grade and it was so much fun. Yeah, uh, I'll let you guys know when you get back from lunch. It's actually time for lunch now. So grab your lunches or your lunch cards and let's head over to the cafeteria. Well, actually first line up by the door. I need to grab my lunch too. I need to get my salad. Try not to forget anything because I do not feel like walking back over to the classroom. Okay, look at Leah being our little line leader. All right, Leah, you were here with me during the summer so you can take them to the cafeteria. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Okay, so we just made it to the cafeteria and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everyone gets settled and has their lunch cards and stuff. So we'll see you guys when we're inside. I'm starving. Okay, so the kids are all behind me and I am sitting over here about to enjoy my salad. this apple too? I think the kids are back there trading food with each other. Okay, so we're just getting back from lunch and recess. Let me just unlock this door. I barely had time to even finish my Caesar salad because everybody just had a million and one questions for me, but... That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more things on my computer. I'm gonna let them kind of just settle down for a bit and then we'll end off the school day because it's actually almost over. Oh, now who was at the door? Let me go see. Oh, hey Shy. How did everything go with your IEP? Hi, it went well actually. Okay, that's good to hear. You know, if you ever wanna 
get out of class and go talk to your IEP. That is perfectly fine with me. We have a mutual understanding here, okay? Okay. All right, go have a seat with your friends. Okay. Leah, excuse me. What are you doing? What? What is that? A juice box? Really? I guess this would be another perfect time to let you guys know that I don't want food and drinks in my class. Because if you guys don't clean it up and juice spills, it's going to cause ants. Leah, you were really trying to take advantage of my kindness. It was Violet! No, I know it wasn't Violet. She gave it to me. Huh? I don't care who gave it to you. You're the one that got caught drinking it. Leah, I'm going to give you a red card. I really will. Ah, uh, no, don't. Okay, then. I suggest you get it together. Or I'm telling your father. Please! Oh, my goodness. I'll be better from now on. Mm-hmm. But I can drink in my own classroom, so let me finish this off. Miss? Uh, yes, Carter? Everything okay? You're such a nice teacher. Oh, thank you, Carter. Carter, it's Mrs. It's okay, Carter. Don't worry. All right. Well, I guess I'll end off the day with one last activity. So this is more like an icebreaker, even though I feel like you've already gotten acquainted with each other for the most part. But what is one thing that you did this summer? Okay, Violet, you can go first. I did a lot of gymnastics classes over the summer. And I dog sat for my grandparents. That's really cool. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, Leah, you can go next. I worked at the family ice cream truck. She learned how to make our homemade ice cream. She also got us a lot of customers. Okay, who wants to go next? What about you, Carter? We have been growing our own garden. Oh, wow, what have you been growing there? Fruits, veggies, we can give some to you. No, don't worry, it's okay. I actually do a little gardening myself. Uh, Sydney, you look really eager to go. You went where, honey? I went to the Virgin Islands with my family. Oh, wow, that's fancy. What kind of things did you do there? I'm assuming you spent a lot of time at the beach, right? I swam in the actual ocean. Raise of hands. How many of you have swam in the ocean before? Me, me. I have also. I have. Uh, Shy, you've been pretty quiet over there. What did you do this summer, sweetie? I went to Disney World this summer. Wow, Disney World? Wow. Wowzers. <gasps> Who's your favorite Disney character? Or what was your favorite ride there? Mom, how come we didn't do that? Because I'm underpaid and overworked and we just bought a house. I got to meet Ariel. Did you see Rapunzel or Minnie Mouse? That's so cool, Shy. Can I go next? Of course you can go next, Nick. I should go with your family next year. Look, you guys making plans for summer already. School just started. Okay, quiet down, kids. Let's hear what Nick did this summer. Well, I spent my summer in my room playing Roblox. Roblox? Wow, you sound like my son, Leo. He plays Roblox a lot. And so does Leah. Ah, uh, the best game ever. Okay, we're gonna wrap up this conversation. You guys can talk about Roblox after school because we're almost there. But I'm assigning you guys some homework, okay? On the first day... No! No! Uh, yeah. Um, so I printed out these packets. Don't worry. They aren't due until Friday. Hey, watch it, Nick. You don't want a red card, do you? You're so mean. I thought I was the best teacher ever. You want me to make it two packets? Because I really can. The printer is right there. So take one packet and pass it around, starting with you, Carter. And these packets are filled with worksheets from different subjects. I just want to get a feel of where you guys left off with your schoolwork last year, what you remember, what we need a little refresher on. I remember a lot. All right, so you can quickly go over those packets, talk amongst yourselves. It's only 10 pages, and the font is really big. I think you guys can get through it, okay? You'll get full points if you just return it back to me. It's pretty simple. And, oh, that sounds like the bell, and I see some kids already leaving their classroom. 
So, okay, I don't want to go over the time, so go ahead and pack up your bags, pack up your stuff, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thanks for sharing. I love hearing what you guys did this summer. Miss, can I stay after for tutoring? Uh, we'll start tutoring tomorrow, okay, Shy? Go enjoy some time after school. Hang out, play with your friends, play on Roblox. Okay, everyone, well, I really hope you enjoyed watching my first day as a teacher. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good school year. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.